I'm Dave O with AGA Productions. I'm the resident OCD cover to cover book reader. Welcome to Two Minute Takeaway. No video synopsis is ever gonna be as good as reading the actual book. And I might get something different from reading this book than you would, but maybe this will save you some time. I just recently read Top Dog, The Science of Winning and Losing by Poe Bronson and Ashley Merriman. Here are my thoughts. Let's start the timer. Why did I read it? My wife saw an interview with the authors of this book while she was researching the benefits of roughhousing in children, and she knows that I'm into brain science, so she picked it up for me. In a world that celebrates collaboration, this is a book about the psychological and neurological benefits of competition. Some of the more interesting lessons that I took away from this book have to do with reframing what so many of the so-called collaborative efforts really entail. For instance, the idea that a crowdsourced group project like the Linux operating system is actually less of an all-inclusive collaboration and more of a competitive meritocracy in which only 5% of the contributors actually have code included in the program. Another interesting thought is Bronson and Merriman's reinterpretation of our folk understanding of many of the biological factors that influence competition. Specifically, they look at what chemicals like oxytocin and testosterone really have to do with our competitive nature, and they're not really what we've been taught to believe. Finally, Bronson and Merriman's study of the measurable differences between someone who is playing to win versus someone who is playing not to lose was refreshing and eye-opening. Has it changed the way I do work? I would not typically describe myself as a competitive person. I'm a product of my generation in that way, in that I would like everybody to just get along. Yet the way that Top Dog reframes the idea of competition as necessary to top performance or even to creativity makes me rethink the way that we push ourselves here at AGA. Right now we're a small company and we're going to play to win, but it'll be through iterative improvements spurned by competition that we'll operate at our best. This book is currently selling on Amazon for nine bucks. It was interesting and I thought the research was fascinating. However, it does contain one of my personal pet peeves. About one fourth of this book or 78 pages of it is actually references. And as an OCD book reader, I actually find that kind of annoying. Now granted, I feel that I'm compelled to read it and if that's not your problem, well then maybe don't worry about it. It just makes it seem like the book is longer than it actually is. That bothers me, I don't eh. I mean, why do I care about that? Nine bucks for a, some research on an obscure topic? Can't really beat it. Thanks for joining us here for Two Minute Takeaway with AGA. We're gonna have other faces bringing other two minute takeaways from books, movies, music, other sorts of content here coming very soon. Please like, comment, subscribe, and share. And as always from me, what have you been reading? <laughs>